All right, so here he is, the number one UFC middleweight contender. And in this era, that's saying something, right? To get through this gauntlet and emerge out of the pack, realize a UFC title shot. Now the world finds out what exactly this man could do with it. You know, John, as we've spoken about, it's shark infested waters trying to manage, navigate through this division. It's one thing to get here, and it's a major accomplishment. But to become the champion is a whole nother level. This guy feels like in his thorough preparation, the intensity at which he moves in the training room, he is more than ready to take the belt off the champion's waist. And you can be sure when the champion comes out at a moment, challenger's eyes will be fixed upon him. We got a middleweight title fight tonight, folks. Let's go. undisputed UFC middleweight champion. This man has run roughshod through one of the deepest divisions in the UFC, and he is showing no signs of slowing down. He ain't slowing down, John. He, he loves the ability to call himself the champ. A smile is on his face every time somebody goes, hey, champ, how you doing? The guy lives for it. He lives for the adulation. He lives for the applause. He lives for the ability to stay in the spotlight. He will fight to defend his title as if his life depended on it. Huge training camp for him. He feels like he has leveled up in a lot of disciplines of mixed martial arts. And man, if he presents an even better version, scary proposition for the challenger. Or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Ricky Boy. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, here we go, UFC middleweight championship fight. This should be good. Oh, huge kick to the head. Oh, connection with the left from the champ. Fight behind a nice jab. Oh, nice hook. Nice combination. Oh, big head kick there. Punch got blocked there. Fast pace here in the early going. Just misses with the jab there. Superman punch. How about it? He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Now he switches stances. Nice defense there. Huge block. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. And the kick lands. 
Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, big left hook there. Setting up a spinning strike, snaps off the kick there. there by the champ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, that lead left will work. Nicely done. Straight punch. That is useful. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Massive kick to the head. Right hook to the head block. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize he hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into... Right here, He's Back to the feet. Oh. 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 Hard in the pocket. That knee might have landed there. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. from the clinch. Oh. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go with round two. Right hand on the counter. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice one, two there. Oh, that's a nice job. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Lands a shot to the leg. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. That punch no good. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be 
very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. What a beautiful head kick land. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Lands a solid kick right there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Yeah, left hook found its target. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like if you're walking the wall. Just keep walking the wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenues to land those shots. Oh, this one could be over soon. Back to his feet. Big knee. Oh, right hand. Huge left hand. Oh, nice right hand. out of the range with that right hand. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Doubling up on the jab. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Both guys appeared to land there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Clean punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. Oh, my goodness, that front leg kick, that front kick was nasty. Rips the body shot there. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Beautiful kick to the body. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Possible five. All right, 
right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters. Oh. oh, this could do it. Oh. Same narrative, he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really bad. They're gonna have a lot of cleanup to do before our next battle. Yes, they're gonna have a lot of cleanup. I mean, I mean, it's part of the, the thing, right? You go into a bloody octagon, you fight, you wrestle. It is what it is at that point, you know what I'm, That's the beauty in being at the end of the night. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste. Oh, no. oh another ground strike right gets through. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Big ground and pound. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bump, they will not oh. MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent is still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability. Oh! And that will do it! Oh, my God! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Pretty Boy. All right, so off the record, you'd like the champion to get it done tonight, and that is how it played out, and still UFC middleweight champion. Congratulations, Arnold. It makes you feel like you know what you're talking about, <laughs> when in reality, you don't. But this oh, guy makes on. me feel like a professional because it's hard to bet against him. Congratulations once again, champ. Too humble, champ. Just too <laughs> humble.